Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be reacting to Amber's new video, which is not a new video. I'm just so used to saying that it's actually a Snapchat rant. Um, this is about fat phobia. It's about Amy's life journey. It's about Chantal as well. It's really just about everything that's going on right now. It looks like our girl is paying attention and she couldn't help but go ahead and get on Snapchat and let us know how she feels. So I just wanted to say thank you to the channel Fat on Fat Crime for um, recording this and uploading it to YouTube. I will link the original video in the comments down below. And let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Oh my, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I'm repulsed right now with, I guess, humanity social media it seems like whenever these youtubers do any sort of snapchat rant we know that like jeffree star i guess she's living her jeffree star moment i mean good uh role models girl that you should definitely copy what they're doing they always have like these stupid filters on it's like how serious are we so amy's life journey you know hasn't had the best reputation people just like her for whatever reasons Okay, right. is that the nails? Is that the nails that gave her this new attitude? Like, all right, that's from Nikita. No, <laughs> now she is doing something so amazing, so generous, and putting her time into trying to help people who have either lost their homes in the fire or are having to evacuate due to the fire. Okay, the original hand talker is just living baby, if you guys know who I'm talking about. And just had to shout her she out. She has 40 thumbs up on her video, thank you. But 233 okay. thumbs down. For why, bitch? For why? <sighs> who do you think you're talking to? Hands down, if this was another YouTuber who wasn't fat, that wouldn't be happening. That wouldn't be happening. Okay, here's my thoughts on the Amy's life journey and her wildfire fund, if that's what you want to call it. I'm not sure. Um, my heart goes out to all the people that are suffering right now because of the wildfires on the West Coast. Um, I think it's a great thing that she wants to raise money. It just it raised a lot of people's eyebrows because she was asking the money to be sent directly to her. Um, at least that's what I've seen. And that's, you know, my feelings on it that just with her reputation for her to ask people to send money directly to her, it just, you know, it does seem a little bit fishy. Um, she has a reputation. I'm not sure exactly if she has scammed in the past. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below, but I do always see that as a buzzword surrounding Amy's life journey, and there are questionable things that have happened in the past. Chantel, oh, she is silly. She is fun. She is entertaining. But she's hated for things that aren't even real. Life by Jen. One of the most sweetest people on YouTube. You can just tell that she radiates such a kindness. And her heart is so full and whole and just beautiful. But yet, she's hated on? Really? I mean, are you naive? Because when I see Jen, I, I just really think that that's an act. And I see below the surface. I really do. There's just something about her. Why? What the fuck did she do? Like, hands down, what the fuck? I don't get it. <laughs> I do not understand. I don't. But yet, we have YouTubers who are on the border of uh, being a pedophile. We have downright... Like who, Onision? I mean, it gets a lot more hate than you do. For good reason. <laughs> racist people that we're looking up to as influencers. Who is downright and open about that? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're out there, but I don't really see anyone looking up to them. Oh, people who have done such horrible, disgusting things, but yet... Other YouTubers? I mean, she really needs to focus on herself. We're tired of this. We're really tired of this. 
the millions of followers just love them so dearly. Always have majority of thumbs up. Name names. Barely thumbs down. Mm. The names I want to say right now. But all the little stands will come all up in my face, hollering at me, saying all this bullshit. If we're at this point, what does it matter? <laughs> I mean, she could shade any YouTuber and I wouldn't bat an eye. I would like to know the tea. It's because I'm fat, so I can't have an opinion. The things that other YouTubers are able to get away with. But the things that us fat folks can't get away with. But we barely do. But okay, let's take, for example, Logan Paul, right? He almost destroyed his career because of the, you know, forest, blank forest thing, right? But he was able to turn it around. But he does still have a lot of people that dislike him. You know, I don't like him. Let's also take into account that most of his fan base is children. You know, people under the age of 18. Amber Lynn, um, as far as I can tell... Most of her viewers are over the age of 18. At least based on my own analytics, I can see that I barely have any viewers that are under 18, which is a good thing because my channel is, you know, adult. So I don't know. That's that's worth taking into account that a lot of these people, their fan bases are children. Jake Paul, children. People think we do and then create stories up for us on our life and create rumors and things that aren't even real <sighs> me amy jen chantelle a lot of the rumors a lot of the speculation it's you know because she doesn't address the things that are going on and she lets it spiral out of control and i've thought in the past you know she likes this she likes what's going on 98 percent of the hate is because we are fat Plus, she also throws in Easter eggs, so people, you know, they take that and they run with it, right? There are other people like uh, Glitter and Lasers, I think that's her name. You know, she doesn't get hate. She's, she's big, right? Um, I'm not really sure what she's doing. I think that recently she decided that it was time for her to lose weight, which I applaud that completely, you know, do whatever you want to do, right? For Amberlynn, you know, I know that there are haters that hate on her because she's fat and, you know, they make disgusting remarks that I don't agree with, right? But she's been stringing us along for so many years now and people have, you know, hoped that she would finally get it this time and it just never turns out that way. You know, recently she had a big health scare and it doesn't seem like she's really doing much to change. It seems that she's going back to her old ways, doing the same things, you know, getting Uber Eats and takeout and, you know, she's just moved to Lexington. So I was thinking, you know, maybe we can turn this around now, uh, now that we have like new people's places, things, I always like to say that people's places, things, you know, when you're, um, struggling with an addiction, you know, if you can change those things, it's easier to get out of your habits. People are frustrated, girl. People are frustrated. Yes, we are fucking fat and that's all it is. We are easy targets. So miserable bitches, if the shoe fits, right? Just want to use us as punching bags. And the reason why I'm so heated, the reason why, it all stems from Amy's life journey. She's giving away fucking keychains. I'm going to start crying. <sighs> to make people... Long story short. She's trying to help people and let people know that they're not alone. And she is using her platform for good. And she's getting hate for it. On the surface, I do think that that is great. You know, but she has to understand with her background and asking for money directly, it doesn't look good. If she wants to sell keychains, I'm not exactly sure what she's doing. If she wants to sell keychains and donate the proceeds um, from those keychains, I think that that's a really great idea. Okay, but when it comes to just giving her money directly, I don't know where she is now as far as that goes, but that is why it looked a little bit strange. Really? Why can't people just give her a fucking chance? Telling her, you're going to take the money, you're nothing but a scammer. Give her a fucking chance. If she starts scamming, then come at her. But until then, shut the fuck up. Chantel, Beauty Beauty, whatever you guys know her by, 
she has been using her voice. Because sometimes I'm too scared to. I'm too fucking scared to. She has. She has been, um, you know, clapping back recently. So I look up to Chantel because she does not mess around. Well, here, here you are, Sean, or here you are, um, Amber. She does not, not mess around. When people come for her, she sticks up for herself. But the minute she does, she gets pinned as this per person that she's not. Um, people twist her words and create it into stuff that's not. She needs to be more careful. She needs to be more mindful. She needs to think about what she's saying before it comes out of her mouth. I agree. You know, she can clap back if that's what she wants to do, but she does need to be careful about the words that are coming out of her mouth and how they're going to be interpreted. Because it's fun for them and it's easy because Chantel's fat. That's all that it is. Wasn't it? That's all it is. And I have realized. Okay. When it comes to Chantal, I guess, um, you know, she does make these, I don't know if I want to say like strides, but like, you know, like mini strides into her weight loss. And I really appreciate those. Uh, sh when she does do her, her weight loss stints, I really, I really enjoy those. And then she kind of shoves it back in her, in our face and she eats a ton of food and it's really getting scary when it comes to Chantal. It's out of control. I'm so much better than majority of you. And I'm talking about the fucking haters, not my supporters. I love you. But again, my words are going to be twisted and everyone's going to think I'm talking to them. I'm not. I'm talking to the fucking assholes. Point blank, period. I wonder, like, as a supporter, if you're a supporter, um... Uh, if you're like a diehard supporter of Chantal or Amberland, let me know. Um, what do you think when they go and do this sort of drama things like the community posts, the Snapchat rants, the live streams? Um, does that frustrate you? Like, do you just want like regular content? Like, I don't know. I have been watching a lot of vlogs lately because I have been into vlogging. Every we know. Everyone who vlogs, they vlog the same shit that I do. We're chilling at home. You know, we might show what we're having for lunch. We might do mm -hmm. a little haul. It's always the same shit. Just a different YouTuber. <laughs> but yet, Amber Lynn just hauls. Amber Lynn just buys stuff. Amber Lynn just orders food. My money, my... That's all you do. Health. Why do you care? <laughs> my money, my choice. <laughs> Girl, I don't understand. And you're only saying that my content's boring because you want a reason to hate on me because I'm fat. Because we find it interesting, you know, that you blow through so much money. If I was skinny, just like the rest of them. But at the end of the day, like, I'm not angry. Do whatever you want with your money, girl. But... I do find it interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't have half as near as much hate as I do now. And, and people will sit here and say, that's not true. That's not true. You're just using your weight as a thing. Go to my fucking comments and tell me, tell me that I'm not hated on because of my weight. You are. Every day I'm picked apart because of my weight. And what I look that's not all of it though. Like because of my weight. It's anybody who's bigger, anybody who's bigger is going to get comments from trolls saying, you know, oh, you're fat. <laughs> you know? Disgusting. And because Amy's That's life YouTube. journey, you know, it's not cool. It's not nice. It's the it's same not, size. It's not fun. It's not fresh. And she's doing something good. She's going to get hate. She has a what reputation. I am. I feel like I'm in planet like big like, reputation. Like a couple, like I feel like someone literally took me to a different planet and is like playing a prank on me. This can't be right. This just can't be right. Like I said, if she wants to sell keychains and donate the proceeds, I think that's great. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's special. I'm pissed about it. I am. I'm pissed about it because what people say is, I just want you to a good person and to stop lying and to stop doing this and lose weight and take your health seriously okay but that's amy's choice yeah this video in particular and the, her last live streams have huh? been about helping people 
but yet because she's not losing weight, she doesn't eat what you want her to eat. You think that she's a liar or a scammer, even though that's not proven. <sighs> okay, yes, yeah, so there is scamming allegations. Like, <sighs> I'm not really sure. I think it has something to do with Pam Talks. I'm not, I vaguely remember that. People want drama. It's easier to have drama with fat people and people who are already hated. It's disgusting. That phobia is real. It's alive. It's real and it's alive. I can't believe how many fat phobic people watch us. It's alive. Montel, Jen, Amy, me. And I find it very strange too that for the longest time, these reaction channels and hater nation happen to only react to us four. Or they pick and chose their, you know, their favorite two out of the four. Hmm. Weird coincidence. Hey girl, I talk about Nikado and Trisha Paytas. And not Life by Jen because I just can't. Maybe a couple of videos. Just a couple. What is a coincidence? We're all fucking morbidly obese. Duh. So, um, what about all the other um, famous YouTubers who have done way far worse? Where are your videos on them? They're a lot more entertaining. Oh, but they're I talked about Trisha when she did DID. Well, I guess it's questionable whether or not she's, you know, or not. Okay, I guess that's it. Um, we only hate Amber because she's fat. That's it. It's the only reason. Um, I don't even know what else to say. It's like, I think I've said everything that I really wanted to say in the video. Um, it's like a broken record at this point. We're just frustrated, Amber. Like, get it together, girl. Get it together. There are people that will be there to support you, but not when you're doing this. Not when you're acting like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.